Okay, here are the notes on Lesson 1, Earth's Interior, and the first thing we're going to see is that there are layers of the Earth. So a long, long time ago, people used to think that the Earth was just solid rock from your feet all the way through the Earth. Okay, but as we got better at studying earthquakes, actually, we started discovering there are different layers, and how exactly that works we're going to learn in this unit later. But for now, we just need to learn what the layers are. Okay, now this first layer we'll talk about is called the lithosphere. This is what we're going to call the crust of the Earth. Okay, now there's a bit of notes to write here. Okay, it's made of thick continental crust, which, which has a density of 2.7 grams per milliliter, and a thin oceanic crust, which has a higher density of 3 grams per milliliter. Okay, the lithosphere on the picture here, you see this line, you should draw an arrow all the way down here to this spot here. This is the lithosphere up here. So this tiny, thin outer layer, the thing that we are the most familiar with, that is the lithosphere of the Earth. Okay, And throughout this unit, we're going to be seeing that this crust is always doing different stuff. This is the spot where the crust is ripping apart on the Earth. And you can see these pipe line this pipeline is going right through the, the bottom of the rip they've got a little tourist attraction walking tower here but it looks like they used to maybe this person is standing on a little bridge over where this rip is the, cr the surface of the earth is changing because of what's going on inside of the earth so what's going on inside the earth well we need to learn the layers first the next layer this is the biggest one is called the mantle okay in the drawing down at the bottom, that's going to be this really giantly thick layer right here next to the crust. Okay, this is 80% of the Earth's mass is in the mantle here. Okay, but the mantle is the middle layer of the Earth. Within the mantle, convection currents rise and sink. We're going to come back to these quite a lot. Okay, these convection currents drag the plates of crust along with them. I can show you kind of what this looks like. Uh, if we were able to peel the earth away a little bit. Okay, so we're looking. All right, here's the core we haven't talked about yet. But up here is the mantle. Okay, so the core is really, really hot. And now that really hot core heats up and makes some, of the par some parts of the mantle less dense. And that less dense part of the core is able to rise up. Let me show that to you again. So down here is the core, and that hot, hot mantle material is less dense and will rise up slowly. And as it rises up, it does a convection current. So some of it goes this way, some of it goes that way, and it drags these plates along with it. So these plates get dragged apart in this case. Now in other places of the Earth, they're getting dragged together. Okay, so... <clears throat> the mantle has these convection currents going on in there, and we want to emphasize that. Okay. Well, finally, the core of the Earth, that's the center part, the outer core of the Earth is very hot and, and made of liquid metal. The inner core is solid metal. It's so much pressure that it turns back into a solid again. So here's the graph at the bottom. We have the lithosphere or crust right here. We have the mantle of the Earth, and then we have the outer and the inner core. The outer core seems and acts as if it is a liquid, just very, very hot, as hot as the sun right here. And then even hotter, but even more pressure down here. This seems like a solid on the, on the inside of the Earth. Okay. Now, convection in the mantle. We should write a little bit about this. Now, the very hot core heats up part of the mantle. Okay, so it's very, very hot, and it heats up part of that mantle. Well, hot material is less dense and rises. We've learned this before, and it, the reason we're repeating this is because this is what drives a lot of what happens in earth science. This hot material is less dense, so it wants to rise up, and then this causes a convection current. All right, this is our introduction to the layers of the earth. And this is what's going to really be important as we try to understand why volcanoes erupt, why earthquakes happen, why the, the surface of the earth is changing over time.